Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiyam and to the Akwaf, that will be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson, you be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad. Back again with another, le another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Feed the lambs of Yahweh by Yahweh Shai as commanded. All right? So, um, um, just want to exhort. You know, the hopeful elect. You know, um, whatever comes to mind, I'll speak on. You know, it's all to the spirit. Uh, but we know, um, you know, a lot of things happening, a lot of things going on. You know, you have to keep your. Um, Keep your eyes, you know, keep your eyes um, wide open, man. You gotta be alert to what's happening. You know, the book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 11 tells you to, you know, to awake, man, to awake or to sleep. You know, as a matter of fact, let me just um, go to it. You know, the book of Romans chapter uh, 13, verse 11. We're in a time where you can't be dumbed down, man. You know, your eyes have to be open to what's going on. All right, this is the book of Romans. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep okay so that's what it is it's, it's high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed okay for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed right now you gotta be in the spirit you gotta walk in the spirit man okay You know, you 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 gotta you gotta have on your spiritual lens, man. You know that eye salve. You know, to see the dangers and the traps and snares that are being set. You know, they have all these freaky laws being passed, and um, things are gonna get. Uh, Real draconian laws are gonna be uh, are gonna be passed. You know, it's gonna to get to that point where things are. You know, this devil speak with a forked tongue. He'll tell you something uh, now and then later. He, he makes it mandatory. So we you know certain certain laws and certain things are gonna become mandatory. You know, uh, uh, Joe Joe Biden say he want everybody to be vaccinated you know and the daughter of Babylon aka America before May 1st you know you gotta look up you gotta you gotta, you gotta be careful for some of these unrighteous decrees but uh, bear with me for uh, for, uh, for for bear with me for a minute here real quick I had to stop to the bank um, Salakia Salakia yeah I'm back yeah, so as I was saying, you got to be real. Um, you got to be real um, careful out here, man. You know, old old Joe say uh, <laughs> by May first, you want to have everybody jabbed up, man. So hey, 
<laughs> let's get let's get the next uh, scripture real quick, man. All right, let's get the next scripture real quick. All right, let's go to the book of uh, uh, Isaiah. We'll do Isaiah. Okay. Isaiah chapter 10. Let's bring that out, man, because this man said he want to make sure everybody jabbed up before May 1st. I tell you, man, you got to be you gotta be circumspect out here, man, because these, these people talk with two tongues, you know. Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1. It says, Woe unto them that decree and righteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Okay? They prescribing this stuff for you. They want to have everybody jabbed up, vaccinated. All right? <laughs> Verse 2 says, To turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. Okay? So yeah, you gotta be you gotta be real, real circumspect out here, man. You gotta walk circumspectly as the scripture tells you. Alright? As a matter of fact, let's just get that. Alright? Let's get that same time in the book of Ephesians. Um, chapter five and verse fifteen. Let's bring that out. Because this is how you ought to walk in these times, man. You know? It's the book of um, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 15. It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, okay? Not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Okay? Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. See, you got, I just spoke of that earlier. You got to be walking in the Spirit, man. All right? Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto the Most High and the Father in the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So you know, just a, 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 a guidance. This is a guidance for you, something for you to meditate upon. You know. Showing you how you should be living in these in these in these last times, man. Three, Second Timothy chapter three and verse one says, "And this know also that in the last days, in the last days, perilous times shall come." So this is a guide to show you how you should be in these last days, walking circumspectly. You know, because the devil, the adversary, he goes as a, 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 a walking a, as as a roaring lion, walking about seeking whom he may devour. Okay, let's get that real quick. Let's go to the book of um, First Peter's. All right, it, it is, it is, it is what it is, man. You know, you know, you know, going around it, man. You know, going around it. Uh, First Peter's chapter five and uh, verse eight. It says, be sober. All right? This is how you ought to be. Sober in your mind. You know? Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary... Okay, who's your adversary? Satan. Okay? When you, when you pull up that word Satan in, in, in the Hebrew, it's Shatan. Which means adversary. Okay? So that's your adversary, Satan. Now, the spiritual demon Satan, right? He have he have a physical 
a physical counterpart here on the earth known as the wicked and according to Malachi 1 and 4 who's the wicked Esau Edom okay though they hide from themselves they don't want to uh, own up to their name Esau Edom but that's who the wicked is and he's and, and they the, the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan okay the devil that's on earth that went out to deceive the, the, the nations as it tells you in the book of Revelation chapter 20 okay it says be sober be vigilant because your adversary right the devil and when you this word when you see this word the devil in the in, in the in the um in the um Greek is Diablos which means and it's a man it's a man, okay, the son of perdition, who's being who's being revealed in these times. I tell you about it in our Second Thessalonians chapter two. You know, it says, "Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, right? Devil means deceiver, slanderer, or false accuser, right?" The the, 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 the the accuser of thy brethren right because the devil as a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour so if you was if you was a low lion fruit in this time you got to be very careful man you, you know you could be devoured because a lot of traps and snares are being set you know Remember they made you they made they made our people, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the Israelites. And they made your faces the face of Royal Crown 19. Alright? So once again, a lot of plots and schemes and things are happening. You gotta be vigilant, man. Alright? So let's get our second Corinthians real quick. Let's bring that out. Book of uh, Second Corinthians, uh, chapter two. Second Corinthians, chapter two, and verse eleven. Let's go to it. This is the book of Second Corinthians. chapter 2 and verse 11 it says lest Satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices right we're not ignorant of Satan's devices man we're walking with spiritual lens so why do y'all by Hashem you shy you know for, 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 for taking me out of darkness and bringing me into his marvelous light you know so we show him for the praise. Um, I mean, as you know, this is a, this is an, an in transit, and I'm reaching, reaching, uh, pulling up at my job here. So I'm, get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get ready to close out. But I'm, I'm gonna get this scripture, and I'm gonna close out with that. But yeah, man, we, we, we not, we not, we not ignorant of Satan, um, devices, man. Lest, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. All right, so you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be careful out here, man. All right, it would behoove you to 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 walk circumspectly. Okay, it would behoove you to do that. All right, so I'm gonna get ready to close out with this scripture right here. You know, giving thanks to. Uh, most high man, you know, take him for taking me or the doctors. This is the book of um Salakia. I'm gonna go through security real quick and I'm gonna read this last uh this last uh scripture the, the verse. Come on, how you doing? I know man. Alright, pretty good. Excellent. Alright. Alright, um Salakia. 
Continuing on, this is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 2 and verse 9, and it reads, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises. Okay, that's what we want to do. Show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So we show forth the praises to the Most High and his begotten Son, our Lord and Savior. Because that's who brought us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Okay, the book of St. John, chapter um, 6 and verse 44, says the Most High, the Most High got to choose you and give you to his Son, and he will raise you up in the last days. Okay? So, hey, you got to give all honor and glory and praises to the Most High, man. So, hey, hopefully you are edified. I'm going to end it there. I'm going to go ahead and give all honor and glory and praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah, Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Until the next time, Adawan Ratazah, that is to say, Lord willing, Shalom.